Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Harmonia Humming Dolls. And I bought my first Harmonia Humming Doll. Well, I bought two and you will see why right now. It's because I got the Dazai and Chuya ones. And if you know me, you know I love these two equally and I cannot separate them. So I was emotionally forced to buy <laughs> two Harmonia humming dolls and let me tell you I when the prototype photos for these came out before pre-orders were released or before pre-orders opened up I was so delusional about the price I thought these guys would would not be the price of like an android or an android doll but I also didn't expect it to be the price of like a scale or even a little more depending on I don't know the type of scale these guys were so expensive, y'all. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for them, but yeah, I mean, they, I all I remember is looking at that price and being like, yikes. <laughs> but also, like, if I'm going to give this type of figure uh, or doll or figure slash doll a chance and a try, I would much rather do it on characters that I like and from a series that I like. And um, these guys, like, this line always intrigued me and I was a little curious about it um and yeah so I didn't have luckily I didn't have like any other pre-orders that month that they were released so I was good and I didn't have any like both like in between either or maybe I had one before but not like after so like it I was able to save the next month <laughs> so we'll just say I paid one for each month <laughs> Okay, but let's go ahead and talk about these guys because honestly, I'm a little bit surprised because I don't, like I said, I don't typically buy these kinds of figures. They kind of remind me of dolls that you'd walk into your grandma's house growing up and see like sitting on a shelf, you know what I mean? Especially with these like very artistic and detailed pearly eyes. Um, they're just like very pretty, but like semi-realistic, I guess. So that's what they reminded me of, and I'm not really attracted to that or interested in that, I guess. At least for like my figure collection. So anyways, as you can see, I already have them out of the box. So let's talk about what I like and what I don't like. So I actually really do like, surprisingly, the art style on this. I think they are so cute. Tell me they're not adorable. Despite them not being true to like the anime art style or translating like exactly like that, I think they are so freaking cute. I mean, especially in the prototype photos. And I feel like from the other characters I've seen done of the characters from this line, I feel like it could be a hit or miss. And I feel like this, this was kind of a hit. Also, surprisingly, <laughs> one of the things I really liked was these were really easy to put together. I own Nendroid dolls and let me tell you Nendroid dolls have given me such a hard time putting together especially because the ones I own have like layers on layers of clothing. So for example I own these Sebastian and CL Nendroid dolls from Black Butler and man they have a ton of layers and they're just so hard to put together even clothing that don't require layers like putting on their pants is it takes an insane amount of effort it is ridiculous i hate it i will say i recently did get an android doll of Chuya, which he's right here and I just really quick want to say I love him so much I'm not doing like a separate video on him I'm sure you guys are sick of my bungo <laughs> videos because it's just one after the other but I did post a tiktok video of me unboxing him and I have a short on here as well but he is so cute I'll add a quick b-roll I love him he surprisingly didn't give me as much of a hard time putting him together I think this is the first Nendroid doll I own that has not given me such a hard time putting together um, and he comes with a ton of layers so I don't know what it is with the rest of the Nendroid dolls that I own but they have made me <laughs> so angry and impatient I, I just can't handle it so I was I was anticipating having a hard time with these Nendroid 
with these Nendra dolls. I was anticipating having a hard time with these Harmonia Humming dolls, but surprisingly, they were, it was so easy to put together. I cannot even tell you how happy I was. And the only reason it did take me quite a while to put them together is because I filmed a TikTok putting them together and kind of like, you know, dressing them up and everything. So I feel like if I hadn't done that, it would have taken me so much less time, which by the way, if you wanna see that video, I have a short on here, or you can follow my TikTok. I have a TikTok of it as well. Same username, Peach and Jakes on there. But yeah, I was so surprised and so happy. Um, it might be because of the size of the figure because these are much bigger than Nendroid dolls. I will put, um, I'll put a little side by side of, these figures next to Android dolls. So it's a little easier to maneuver things and like get around things, but still layers of clothes with such like skinny figure too. It It's a little bit of a hassle. It takes a little bit of time. Only thing that I didn't like about putting them together and that took me the most time is styling their hair. So <laughs> they come with their hair separate which I don't know why I didn't even think about that. I just assumed the hair would come like attached. Don't ask me why, but it came like a wig basically and you had to style it. Now I did anticipate that we had, like I had to style it. I just thought it would come attached. But the hardest part and the thing that took the longest is actually styling the hair. And I still don't even think I got it right, especially Chuya's. I was trying to match it to the prototype photos. Now, I feel like Chuya's hair is, on the box, it's not as noticeable, but I think on the actual doll, it is. I feel like his little rat tail, ponytail situation is too long. Now you can argue that I can cut it and shorten it, but also, who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> if I try to cut his hair, I I might as well throw him in the trash right now because I am going to be ruining him. He, it, no, it's not happening. I know myself and I know that that is not something I am capable of without messing up. <laughs> also, like I said, styling the hair was really hard, especially like keeping it in place and whatnot. Um, I mainly just used water and like clips to hold the hair in place where I needed it to stay. And then after it's like settled a bit and got used to the way I shaped it, I would take the clips off. Uh, I, I think some people actually use products, which just like cutting his hair, I do not want to do because I do not want to ruin it. I'm very, very scared, especially for the price that they are, not happening. But yeah, I still, I cannot get his hair to look like the prototype at all. And I think the prototype photos have his hair done so well, but that's the power of Photoshop, I guess. The only other thing that took me quite a while to do when putting them together is for Chuya, he's, he was a little hard to keep onto his base. So the way the base works is they come with like clasps that are supposed to like hug their waist or anywhere. And I cannot get Chuya's to stay right at all. So that's why I'm, you don't see me holding them and showing you up front like I usually do with figures because if I touch him, he's going to fall off the base, which when I show you guys a B-roll, I probably can't even like put them on the little turntable thing. I probably have to just kind of pan up and down while they're sitting on the shelf. Other than that, everything was so easy. Everything was very fast. I, I think they're so adorable. I, I really do love the eyes. The eyes have so much detail and they look so pretty. And while I was reading the instructions, I actually saw that you can like pop out the eyes and like replace them with like other ones that you can, I guess, buy online. Kind of cool, kind of creepy, but also very cool. Um, so if you want to give, I know some people like Chia to have a uh, header heterochromia that'd be very nice oh i wanted to say these were actually also very easy to pose too i kind of feel like these jointed dolls sometimes can be they could take a little bit of effort to pose some nendroid dolls i've also had trouble with because i guess because it's hard to maneuver because of the like multiple layers of clothing it kind of holds down the joints but i think these were i think i didn't really have a problem with posing them. 
so there's there's that also but overall i think these are so cute now is this like a figure a type of line that i'm going to be actively collecting no i think this is like i don't want to say it's a one and done because i know there might be down the line a character that comes out in this line that i'm really gonna want but this is like a rare occasion type of thing especially with the price now if they came out with nana dolls in this version that that would I'd actually be really really cool i think i would actually really like that so yeah those are the harmonia humming dolls and what i thought of them uh let me know in the comment section a do you collect harmonia hummings uh, which ones do you own? And if you don't own a Harmonia Humming Doll, but want to get one, let me know which one you're interested in getting. Like, what caught your eye? Which character caught your eye? Um, and yeah, and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.